Hi, I'm Jerry Bird, and today we're going to make some clay cars. Starts with some clay. Get a hunk of clay. If it gets a little bit too big, you just cut it off. My favorite tool is the table. I pound it down because that helps me get stuff like that. You can also just use a little bit of a wood tool for paddling. It's a lot easier when it's smooth enough. It's very important when you're sticking pieces together with clay, and especially as it gets drier, to use some slip. Oh, that top's a little bit too small, so let's see, I'm working on it to make it look more in proportions, into scale. So we're going to add some scoring, some slip, Press that down, shape that in, and there is the beginning of our car. Now I need some fenders. So I roll out a coil, hold my fingers together, roll out a coil, cut that in half. I actually just like to put some slip on your papers next to you, and you could just drop your piece right in and have a mountain, and then a valley, and then another mountain. That's my fenders. I like old-fashioned cars that actually have fenders that were on the outside of the bodies. You can probably remember from, from movies like Cars and other old classic movies. You can see some vintage old cars from the 40s and 50s. Now, it's important in any artwork to do details. Details are what keep people looking at a piece of artwork a lot longer. If there's no details, they're just going to leave and get something else. So, I like fancy grills. That's what's cool about old cars. I roll out my coils, just break off pieces. Don't worry about this little rough edge because I'll show you a trick. I learned a long time ago. Just take another piece of clay and just hide that rough edge. Take the rest of your coil, put some slip on it, stick it down. Here comes my bumper. See how that kind of ends the artwork too. It defines that, hides all that roughness and defines that. Take a little ball of clay, break it in half. Those are gonna be our light, our headlights. Then we take here and you spin them, kind of make like a little upside down ice cream cone. Take your pencil. Stick some holes in there. Have some more slip right here. Just dip a little bit of slip in there. It's important. These would pop out later on in the kill. And so you'd lose your headlights. Take the other side of your pencil. Take your little piece of clay. Make even smaller little round balls. And then you put them in there. Hood ornaments. There we go. Kind of defines it as the nose, center part. It's bent a little bit, but it adds some class. It adds some pizzazz. Tiny little pieces of clay. They're like mirrors. They're the, they are the mirrors. They're like ears. I think people like my cars because they kind of look like people. And people like people. This is now. This is when I do some blending. I get that looking clean. That's an important part. Okay. We can find a little bit better later. Now I'm working on the back part. I can see that's a little crooked. I straighten that up. Take my finger, press in the back window. That was easy. Take a piece of clay, put it where the trunk goes. Ah, that could be a little bit bigger. So I just get a little bit more clay. Pat it down on the table, a little bit of slip. It's okay to make mistakes when you're doing this, because you can fix it. It's the one thing I like about clay. It's so easily fixed. And as you get better and better, it's just like anything. Like when you work with a musical instrument, practice. This defines the bottom. Take. Just exactly like making the headlights, but I started even with that smaller little balls of clay, a little bit of glue. 
I can do both hands at the same time, but you can take your time and just do one hand at the same time. Okay, what's it need? It needs some tires. So now we need some places to put the tires. So we gotta get those nice and defined. Oop, I bent my mirror, so we fix that up. Put that there. Take some of your leftover clay and roll it out into a coil. Sometimes it's better to make your tires bigger. They add to the cartoon effect of the car. And it defines your car. So, but you want your car tires to be all the same. Out. Out. Put them on the table. You don't want to roll your tires out and go like that. Because this tire is not going to hold any weight. This tire can hold something. That's important. When you're adding, just like you're adding legs, you're adding other work, it's very important to make sure you slip and score these parts. I'm actually reaching in there and I'm pinching. I'm taking my thumb and I'm pinching some of that clay right from the car into the body of the tire. And that really joins it. And I can even pinch some more in there. There's my big funky car. Fix my mirrors. Get up in here. I can define the fenders with the pencil. It's much easier to draw a line in the wet clay than it is to paint a line. Add some vents. I know all these details because I know cars, but that's why it's important if you had pictures, you could see all these details. I like old-fashioned cars, Oldsmobiles, they had three holes in the side. People would like that detail. Some art lines on top. Very important. Well, we need some hubcaps to hold the wheels on. So you can just put a circle. Even more important, we need you to write your name on the bottom. Write your name, because when your teacher loads in your pots, and your pieces, they'll think of you as they put it in the kill. And that's when it turns hard. That's how you make a clay car. And let's take it across America. Ooh, ooh.